Well, fortunately, um, it's what's today, February 5th, and we've been out at least five or six times uh, out on the soccer field. And today, we're going to go out on our grass and dirt field. And I think we'll be able to go out all week this week. So we'll get some outside work, which is always nice. Helps the outfielders, helps the, you know, helps everyone. They see the ball better, um, get to track fly balls, get to see the carry on the baseball. So things have been, have looked very good. I'm happy with, we have 15 new freshmen. I'm happy with the way they've progressed up to this point, but we need to keep getting better. We have Nick obviously pitched his perfect game in Florida himself. He's out for the whole season. So we have him back. Uh, he's looking very good. Uh, Nick takes care of his body, works out regularly, he's stronger, and uh, looks like he's going to have the velocity he showed in his second start down in, uh, in Florida. So we thought, well, was it just because he was fresh? But he's showing that. So he's, his velocity has ticked up, which is good being a left hander. And so he's looking pretty good. Evan Umlin, who has uh, been our strike thrower, um, He's always working, always getting better. He looks good. And then we have uh, a lot of, I think, nine freshman pitchers. And they've, about four or five of them have really improved since the fall. So that's very encouraging. They're throwing more strikes and they're gaining a little velocity. So we're happy about that. Right now, um, I think due to that, I think we will uh, probably we need to get through the first half of the season and then get better, get experience, because a lot of those young guys are going to have to pitch. We think hopefully they'll develop and hopefully we'll have any guys that are injured right now, we'll have them back in time. Marcus Williams, we moved him as an infielder, we moved him to first and he played very well last year, so he'll be, he'll be a senior this year. Luca Bacari, who's been our shortstop for two and a half years, we flipped him with Luke Tone, who was our second baseman. So we have both of them back. Uh, third base was an opening. Uh, we have a couple of freshmen. We have a, three freshmen that are working out there. We also have uh, Kenny Laverich, who was an infielder last year. He's now working out third, and he's improved immensely from his freshman year. Sam Bevan is a top recruit. We got him late in the recruiting season. He was be recruiting some, by some Division One and Division Two programs, and we ended up getting him. And we think he has the potential to step in and and play early also. But that's, that's the infield, we're, we're, we gotta fill some holes, really three of them, but we think we've done that. Left field, we, somebody new will be playing there. Case uh, and Holland, uh, David Chandler are two freshmen that um, have shown well in the fall and the off season. So we think they'll get some playing time. Nick Sampson, who is just incredible defensively and offensively, I think he hit the third lead hitter as a freshman, but, but defensively just really great jumps. He man center, he's back. And um, we ended up moving an infielder to the, to the outfielder, Josh Minnick, who became our fourth hit, cleanup hitter. He's improved and he's looking better defensively. And obviously he's a, a big help with the bat. So he'll be in right. Shane Cato uh, was our DH and we, we had a lot of guys started out as DH and then we just settled in. Shane was going to be a third baseman for us and had a chance to get time there, but he injured his arm and he's just gotten cleared recently. So uh, he's not in playing shape right now. Uh, throwing is, will be an issue. So it looks like we thought that he, depending on how our freshman did, we thought he would come in and have to play some third base, but it looks like he'll probably be a DH only. And we have some other guys that, you know, will we'll look at and if they get hot, they may get some opportunities to, to fill in there also. Well, almost like every year, some guys have to step up. Now we have to have, we have to have, for the beginning of the season, we have to have two freshmen step up and be starters. We have some of our relievers back. Uh, they, need to, they, need to do, they need to do better than they did last year. And I'm hoping and look, it's looking like they, they will uh, because we need a lot of things to go right. If they do what they're capable of, I think we'll be happy, but I think it's gonna take some time. And uh, so um, I think hopefully we're playing our best baseball the second half of the year and we have our most complete team and we have guys that aren't freshmen anymore because they got close to 40 games under their belt. So um, there's question marks more than, than there was in the past. Also an exciting time, guys are competing and they see that there's spots to be won. So competition is the best thing for a coach, for a team. Guys gotta work hard every day and they gotta show up every day. So. 
we're hoping that that will turn into a strength for us. Conference continues to get better every year. Uh, there's been some new coaches come in that do, are doing a very good job. The recruiting is better. Uh, additional teams that have come in. So I think it's probably going to be as balanced and strong as it's ever been in my ninth season here. Um, we have expanded the playoffs for the first time to six teams and I think I think there's some teams, you know, we had some teams just miss out that are worthy to be in. So, so uh, it's going to be interesting. Uh, you'll have to play a few more games in the playoffs. There'll be more teams, so it'll be exciting and just add to the great feeling of playoff baseball.